Whether your marina requires boaters to fuel the boat or marina staff to do the fueling, the steps are basically the same. Approach the fuel dock slowly and carefully. Consider the location of your deck fill as well as any current or wind that could impact your approach. Have dock lines ready and make sure you are tied up securely. Make sure all smoking materials are extinguished and that other sources of ignition, stoves, heaters, electronic gear are turned off. Clearly state whether you need gasoline or diesel fuel and how much you expect to need. Encourage all persons to leave the boat. Turn off all electronics and close all hatches and doors. Fuel vapors are heavier than air and can sink into lower parts of the boat. Handle the nozzle with the tip up. Request an absorbent pad to catch any drips. Be absolutely certain you are putting the nozzle in the correct fueling port. Water and sewage fills along with fishing rod holders can look similar to the fuel deck fill. Stay with the boat throughout the fueling process and do not use the hands-free clip. Fill the tank to 90% capacity and do not top off the tank to allow room for expansion and boat movement. Hand the nozzle back to the marina staff carefully, holding the tip up to prevent any drips. If the absorbent pad was used to wipe up fuel, dispose of it properly. Open port hatches and doors to ventilate and sniff the bilge and engine compartment for fumes. With a gasoline engine, be sure to run the blower for at least four minutes before starting the engine. When fueling portable tanks, always remove them from the boat and place them on the dock or the ground. For personal watercraft, fuel on land or use a special floating dock to add increased stability and reduce the chance of an accidental spill.